Hi, my name is Olga. I would like to show you a little bit about artist uh, Sasha Kurban. We will go in her studio and uh, we'll ask a little bit about her lifestyle, about her art. Voilà. Enjoy the video. If you like it, please press like and uh, subscribe. Hello. How are you? Very good, thank you. So welcome to my art studio. Great. Hello Sasha, I'm very happy that you invited me to a cup of tea in your art place. And I would like if you will say a little bit about your art, about your studio, where we are. I came in Switzerland, Geneva when I was 15. And then I went to uh, an art school. And I stayed a couple of years uh, there and uh, I've been learning um, design, industrial design. Also in that school, I developed a style. I, I fell in love with uh, uh, pop art. So everything started like in my school and then I transformed the pop art and I added some, uh, a, bit, a bit more of realism in my pop art. So your painting it's between uh, realism and pop art most of yeah, the time. Yeah, I think I can yeah, I can call it like that because it's not exactly a pop art, but now it's transformed more into realism, but I still uh, use uh, um, I, I still like the colors like of pop art, like very flashy colors. Okay, here it's more in a pastel um, palette but uh, like normally I like very vivid colors like pink, green, many like different logos like Chanel logos, uh, LV logos uh, for my personal project. You start um, this pop art and then um, I know about your new project mm -hmm. which one I really really amazed. It's um, you start for YouTube channel mm -hmm. 365 days mm -hmm. and you already did uh, more than half. Yeah. Tell me a little bit, tell us a little bit about that project. Is it too difficult for you to start? Uh, uh, so, the, yeah, that was crazy idea to start um, something like that because 365 paintings is quite uh, a lot. So, it means like I need to paint uh, every day and I, I, I can't take days off and uh, but it's really good um, uh, way to to develop my skills even more so I push myself to the limit I, actually I want to see where is my limit how you find ideas for that project so uh, I really inspired by uh, nature I love um, to paint animals uh, you can see most of my videos, you can see animals, but also I like uh, to draw uh, like some fruits, uh, cherries and something we can eat, you know, <laughs> so ice cream, things like that. And uh, but mostly it's animals. I really, I, I'm in love with the animals since I was born. Uh, also, I've been all, always drawing cats. As soon as I remember myself, you can always see the cats in my in my paintings when I was like two years old already. So and then it's it's never stopped. You can see like all the tigers and the, all, all these beautiful animals. So this is it. You have artists which one you prefer, or maybe someone who inspired you most? Yeah, I like Andy Warhol. Uh, I like his colors um, and. I like uh, Gustav Klimt as well. So I could also, see you can see uh, a yeah. little uh, In, like inspiration, inspiration from right. uh, Gustav Klimt. There are many, many artists. It's always something that I like from every artist. In Salvador Dali, I like his realistic way. And Gustav Klimt, I like his always golden, small uh, pieces, uh, pieces so. like, uh, like a jewelry, you know. So, yeah, and uh, Andy Warhol, I like the colors pop up. Uh, pop pop up colors and um, very vivid colors, yeah. And um, when you will finish that project, do you have some ideas what you would like to do after that? Yeah, actually, I will, I'm still gonna continue that project. Uh, probably I'm gonna uh, start some um, 
uh, like virt virtual classes like uh, for people who want to paint so I'm gonna uh, share my knowledge with them usually when you draw you started to do sketches or how you started to do so first of all I um, trying to find a, a good picture a good photograph and then sometimes I transform it um, on Photoshop or sometimes I just like it just like a nice picture I find I just copy the same picture what you like um, to paint most so I like to paint animals and I like to paint shiny um, objects like uh, gold or maybe you can show you yeah, I can show you so this is a uh, the, um, the teddy bear so I really like uh, how the gold looks so I like to um, what I like about gold there is a shadows and a light and to create something realistic you have to use the both at the same time so if you don't use both at the same time, it's going to be uh, not very realistic. So that's why you can see. Uh, so it's a combination of the shadows and the light. That's why I'm really in love with uh, gold, silver and all this metal. And uh, also I like to uh, paint animals. Also you can see there's lots of light in this painting. So I really like this aspect of the vivid colors and light and animal. And by yeah. season it's perfect. Yeah, yeah and autumn. It's, now, it's, now it's autumn. <laughs> and uh, also like... Um, just like animals. Like yeah. cat, tiger. Yeah. Tigers, it's my... Uh, yeah, I love leopards, tigers. It's my favorite uh, big cats. <laughs> yes. Do you still have uh, keep some old paintings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got um, a painting since I was two years old till fifteen. Where you keep all of them? Uh, my grandfather owned them, <laughs> so it's in his place. <laughs> he uh, um, collected. It's not only he got not only my paintings, but he also got uh, paintings from my mom, from my uncle, and uh, from my aunt. So it's a big collection because we're all artists in my family. I come from the family of artists. So he, so he, um, it's in his place. Uh, Sasha, I know that uh, your grandfather, he had very, very interesting project, which one you was participate from yeah, young age. Exactly. So he collected like uh, most of my paintings when I was a kid and um, he uh, asked me to um, uh, participate in his project to uh, insert the uh, artwork from um, uh, my childhood into the new paintings so one of the paintings uh, is behind me it's a woman with a tiger so this is like um, i painted that uh, a few years ago and I insert um, at the back, you can see it's a, a tattoo, the, the a picture from my childhood painting. So I combine two in one. So this is like from the childhood to um, uh, maternity, I think it's something like that we can say. Uh, yes, it was a very interesting project where is uh, participate also other children as well. Here are Sasha's paintings when she was a kid and then uh, how she integrate those paintings in adult uh, pictures. So it was really uh, fun to create um, these paintings because, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just fun. It's, it's, a, it's a nice, beautiful uh, uh, way to connect with uh, my childhood like that, yeah. Do you try also new different techniques uh, and maybe you have some uh, ideas what you would like to try on uh, to paint something I, different? Uh, yeah, I've got that cra crazy idea. Um, I want to paint on the metal, on a shiny metal. So instead of putting um, the, uh, the canvas, uh, like cotton canvas or whatever, I'm going to put uh, metal, metal around it so uh, on a frame so it's going to be shiny like a mirror and uh, probably i'm going to use copper 
uh, latent like a gold colors like uh, bronze colors and maybe some uh, shiny colors as well like uh, pink is like different metal kind of metal and I'm gonna paint on that so this is uh, gonna be my next project it's very interesting that, um, that uh, you try different techniques and different styles uh, yeah different texture because uh, many people paint on uh, canvas. canvas but I want to try something different and uh, let's see what it's gonna be <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a lot of friends, artists? Uh, yeah, I've got uh, some artist friends, uh, also in art and uh, in music as well. And also I come from the family of artists. Uh, my father was an artist, uh, my mom, she is an artist, my uncle, he's an artist. So actually all my life I live, I'm surrounded by artists. And we got the friends of friends of friends, they're all artists. And, and I can say like I 100% artist because I do music as well. And, uh, what kind of music you do? Um, uh, it's I'm, I, I've been really inspired by Lana Del Rey, so I created some tracks, uh, some music in her style. So something, uh, um, um, how can I say, like something soul, sexy, warm. Um, like some nice chill music. Okay, yeah. nice. <laughs> How often you paint? Uh, now, because of my project, uh, 365 days, I paint every day. And sometimes uh, uh, I need to do two paintings. Um, yeah, sometimes three, but... Uh, do you have sometimes days when you don't want to paint at all? So if I don't want to paint at all, uh, because it happens sometimes I want to maybe travel a few days, I, uh, I paint in advance and this is a bit hard because it, it means like I need to do two or three paintings, maybe even four in one day, but mostly like maximum uh, it's like three paintings. But it, Normally I paint every day, so it's uh, a bit easier for me than to paint in one day, many. Uh, when you don't have inspiration, uh, what do you do? You do go to the museums, to the galleries, uh, how yeah. you try to find your yeah, inspiration? Yeah, exactly. I go to, uh, I go to galleries. Uh, oh, there are not many galleries in uh, Geneva, <laughs> but uh, even if I... Um, sometimes I find artists on... Uh, on Instagram, uh, accidentally like that, or on Facebook, and uh, sometimes I go on YouTube and uh, uh, I watch the artist and it inspires me because if some, because sometimes it, um, I feel it's hard to paint every day, but when I see some other people who do even like maybe uh, more complicated things, it gives me hope that uh, if they can do what they doing, which I find difficult, so uh, I need to keep going uh, and just do my thing. So it's uh, actually um, mostly it's from internet I find my inspiration, and sometimes yeah, sometimes when I go outside as well, just like to, to uh, just want to take a break uh, when I go outside. Um. And longest period when you didn't paint, how long it was? Um, no, maybe a couple of months because uh, I used to live in London uh, before and I've been making music so I didn't really have much time to paint uh, what the longest I painted it was um, one of my painting it's uh, I painted Lamborghini with a, with a leopard on the top of Lamborghini and uh, what I remember, it took me three months. It's a big painting. It's, it's uh, 150 to 100 centimeters. And why it was three months? Because uh, it, it wasn't like every day I was sitting and painting. It was just maybe a few times a week for six hours, like uh, every time. So it took me in total um, uh, three months. And when I tried to copy the same painting in three days, Okay, I've done that painting in three days, but uh, you can't copy something uh, which been done in three months in three days. It's impossible. It looks kind of the same, but all the small details, it's impossible. It's also so, inspiration and yeah. feeling not the same as well. Yeah, exactly. And maybe the colors are not like the, the same. Like it's, 
it's hard to copy uh, your old paintings. I think it's it's better, it's much better to create new paintings. But sometimes you need to copy your old paintings as well. So do you do often uh, copy of your paintings? Uh, um, not often, no, not often. But uh, if I have to, I will. <laughs> Also, for me, interesting to see uh, what your opinion about uh, how real artists should look like. What do you think? Do you look like real artist physically? Like uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think uh, I look like a <laughs> normal artist. But some artists, like yeah, they're a bit crazy, you know. Like Salvador Dali, he was extra extra artist, like crazy. But uh, physically, I don't know, I think uh, I look like <laughs> okay, an artist. Maybe it's when I talk to people, when, um, I mean, when I talk to people, like, I talk a lot about art. Then you can see uh, uh, that I'm an artist because I talk about my project. Uh, so, I'm all, like, I, I always talk something about art. Yeah. It's nice when you was in London, uh, you switch from one art side to other side. So some way you never really stop. You uh, create yeah, it in exactly. a different way. And even now, I it's been my dream for uh, a very long time. I started um, classes of pottery. So it's also it's a different way of art because you're creating something with your hands. And uh, it's, I find it very interesting. Actually, it's like... It's not the same thing as a painting, but it's a different way, and I, and I love it actually. So even if even if it's the the classes are very early in the morning, I still wake up to go there. But tell me about uh, like I think personal my opinion. I think artists it's uh, like to wake up late because they create in the night Is yeah why, you? yeah exactly why do i mostly create at night because at night uh, no one can call me at night so i've got all the time for myself uh, because in the daytime you feel very distracted from many things uh, you know or like i don't know you're hungry you need to cook or your friend like uh, just came over because uh, he, he or she was there uh, or it might be like, or maybe it's uh, uh, it's so warm and sunny, and you just want to go to swim or I don't know. <laughs> so it's really hard. So the best time, I mean, for me, I prefer to create uh, mostly in evenings. But I know some artists they create in a, in a, early, in the morning. early in the morning because they they've got more time for uh, for other things in the day. Uh, but for me, it's, it doesn't matter because I've got my light uh, and it's fine for me. How long um, in one day you can uh, sit down, do not stand up from the painting? When ah. you start uh, to do something and then just non-stop, ah. how long maximum you do? Okay, it, okay, now I develop a very... I mean, when you paint for more than one year every day, you do very good work in very short time so actually depends on the on the size of the canvas if it's something like uh let's see that size is gonna be faster maybe i mean i can do it uh, in a few hours for and example for that painting how so long no like for me maybe uh, no. like uh, i don't know two hours so and that one uh, is, is gonna take longer the canvas is big so bigger the canvas is uh and also yeah so but bigger the canvas is more it takes time yeah but also it's skills like before for example it took for you probably much yeah. longer in the like beginning a... if you just beginner and uh, you want to learn something or, or maybe you know how to paint but you want to i don't know like learn how to paint gold is going to take you maybe five hours yeah maybe something like that but for someone who paint every day for uh, like uh, I don't know like one year or something like that it's gonna it's gonna be easier. But it's all sometimes it depends on the photograph which you, you're choosing because sometimes you might think it's easy, but when you start painting, actually you're realizing that it's not that easy. So it takes you more longer. It happened to me even with the small paintings. It took me longer than another paintings. 
the sun paintings i don't know maybe it's for sun paintings but how long uh, longest you were sitting uh, like in one go for uh, like for, with, my, with my project or with no, uh, ah. when you paint it when you sit down and uh, get up from the place how long it was uh, so to, to complete period. complete painting uh, not important complete painting just in one day ah. 24 hours uh, maybe it was uh, i don't know like seven seven hours seven hours maybe like in one goal like those yeah goals. yeah 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 seven hours because i remember with this lamborghini car uh just like to create a tire inside uh um, it took me six hours so just like for i don't know just took me so long i don't know why but uh, sometimes certain details uh, go longer and yeah e exactly and uh, so it's all depends actually what you're choosing like uh like uh i mean what is your idea from the beginning because also when i was applying the gold leaves or uh, to the painting it took me a long time as well so i, I can say maybe also like seven hours in seven hours i wasn't even finished uh, that so i had to like, apply like a couple of times so it's actually being not being an artist like if you want to be artist you can uh spend lots of time sometimes you, actually sometimes you don't even see the time uh, because you start something and then you see oh my god it's already like sometimes you don't feel that time it's like meditation but some, yeah but so. exactly but sometimes you feel that sometimes it's it's you know it's you've been there for a long time painting but sometimes you know you just don't feel it at all uh do you organize some time to time exhibitions yeah with the help of my grandfather he been uh, he loved he loves to organize exhibitions but um in geneva i just uh, um put my paintings on the wall you know in uh, at one bar uh there are a couple of my paintings and uh, uh probably with my next project uh like what i told you that i want to draw on a, on a copper oh, actually i can, can show, show you actually yeah. yeah it's gonna be yeah so copper is that but it's gonna be shiny one quite shiny but i'm gonna make it more shiny and i'm gonna um, clean uh, yeah yeah i'm gonna clean and i'm gonna use a uh, oil paint to paint on that nice. so uh, I, I will try it <laughs> and so for that one i would like to create um, a collection a collection of paintings and then i would like to make exhibitions so and uh, maybe i'm gonna make exhibitions for when i finish 365 days as well I'm not sure yet, but uh, we will see when it's going to come to <laughs> closer to the end. Do you have already idea where you want to exhibit or not yet? Uh, well, probably in Geneva because I'm in Geneva at, at the moment. Uh, but in future, I would like to exhibit in some other countries, you know, maybe in London, Dubai, uh, what US maybe, but um, I have no idea exactly, but uh, definitely I would like to exhibit. Sasha, and um, you prefer to paint uh, when you're alone or in the company with other artists? Also, do you draw sometimes through the uh, live model? Oh, I um, actually drawing from the live model uh, I've done when I was in art school. <laughs> uh, it's not really the type of uh, art I like to paint from the live model. It's more like an exercise, I think. Uh, but uh, if I paint, I like to be alone, um, mostly. But sometimes when I was in Moscow, uh, I like to know that there is someone in a flat, in a different room, so I don't feel so alone. I don't know. I just it's, it's, I like to be kind in the company, but not really. I like to be alone because I can be more concentrated on my work. Yeah. You like that people not far but uh, yeah, exactly. in that place uh, exactly because nobody uh, disturb you yeah because otherwise you feel like if you sit like all day uh, for six seven hours you i think one day you're gonna feel very lonely you know so i think it's important to see your friends as well or it's important to know that you're gonna paint for a certain time like uh, you're gonna paint for six hours and then you're gonna go somewhere or, or you're gonna plan something because it's hard for the, for an artist because I can paint every day and be alone absolutely, but I don't like it. 
So I take it as my as my work. I separate the work from uh, my friends. Do you have uh, some kind of um, object like doodoo uh, where you carry around ah. it? What to give you some? Uh... Well, I've got some. Uh, so, ah, you know, I've got this. I just like to have it around. <laughs> this is my dad is <laughs> to save you from the bad spirit. <laughs> and I like uh, also a second. So it was dinosaur and also I, I like this small figurine of uh, cheetah next to me because I cat. love all these uh, cat things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you done big big work and you finished it, usually what first thing you would do? When it was like hard, long uh, work, you just really work hard on that. And when you finish like this first emotion, what do you do? Really? So I'm gonna be like, yes, uh, so probably I'm gonna go drink some coffee and then I'm gonna search for another paintings to paint. So it's <laughs> so never, it's, like it's never, it's never, uh, it's never ending, you know, never ending. But first of all, probably I'm gonna drink coffee and eat or maybe just, uh, uh, to see my friends, I'm gonna go to see my friends and just well, go for a drink. I have also another question. Uh, do you have, uh, because I know some artists to survive, uh, they have to work and find another job. Do you have some other job or you 100% in uh, painting? Can no, I'm 100% in the paintings, into the paintings. Okay. Because that my project takes lots of time. I don't have time for like normal work. So I, I paint, this is my work. Okay. Okay, thank you very much uh, for your thank you um, I'm interview. Very, yeah, I'm very happy that you came here and uh, we could talk a little bit, a little bit about art. And Maybe you have something what you want to share a little bit more with uh, spectators. <laughs> Uh, if you would be in Geneva one day, <laughs> you should probably visit uh, um, the little place, a uh, little bar where I exhibit my paintings. And uh, hopefully in a very soon future, uh, we're going to make another interview and then I'm going to invite you um, for my uh, new exhibition. That will be great. Yeah, that will be great. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, so guys, if you want to see uh, Alexand uh, Sasha's art, yeah. I will share a link on uh, YouTube of uh, Sasha and uh, on her uh, Facebook page, Instagram page. You also can see some information. You can buy art direct uh, from the artist as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More than welcome. And yes. Sasha have good uh, projects future and uh, really will uh, wish yeah. that. And so thank good. you so much, guys. And uh, hope uh, we're going to do another interview very soon. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>